Hello everyone and welcome back to Art History Shorts. So in my last video, I talked about the 19th century art movement, Realism, uh, what this movement meant and how what was happening culturally and in society shaped the kind of art that was being created at this time. I also mentioned briefly how realist art was seen by the public. So I wanted to go a little further into that um, and talk about the artists of this movement more specifically. So there's really no better place to start uh, than with the artists often credited with consciously starting this movement. Um, and like I said uh, before in my last video, of course art has been created before this time in the uh, manner of realism, but Gustave Courbet, he really made it a movement. Um, he, there was deliberate intentions behind the work that he created, uh, and his deliberate intentions were to challenge the long-standing belief that the history painting was the highest form of art. The best example of his opposition to the norm can be seen in his painting Burial at Orne's. This painting, exhibited at the Salon in 1851, was 10 feet high and 22 feet across. It was massive, impossible to ignore. The painting depicts, in a matter-of-fact way, a rural burial, and because he painted it on the scale of a history painting, it questions the values of French society and asks, in essence, what is the difference between these people and those the public deems more worthy of portrayal? Why do they matter less? The figures in this painting seem to all blend together without any real focus. No one is depicted as above or below the other. No special recognition is given to any one person. This is not a hero's burial. There isn't a holy light shining down on the grave, no visible portrayal of the divine or the Holy Spirit. There is no symbolism or deeper meaning. No commentary on the soul of the dead. It doesn't romanticize death. This is a scene of humanity. The children look realistically bored. There isn't an exaggerated show of emotion on the mourners' face, faces. Uh, death is seen as matter of fact and even mundane. This painting size, being so comparable to that of traditional history paintings, opened it up to criticism. The figures are seen as life size. Uh, it gives you the feeling that these people are of great importance, not common people with worn faces, and not idealized and beautiful ones. To our eyes today, this might not seem like a controversial painting, but when, it was an but when it was exhibited, it was considered bold and confrontational, even audacious. Uh, he was also criticized for his technique and purposely flattening the figures. I'm going to talk about this change in painting technique more next time when I talk about Manet, another painter of the realist style. So thank you everyone for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you next time.